The Guild International ME Style Zip Welder for joining coil strip ends is the world's most technically advanced shear welder. The zip welder is used where very fast, consistent, high quality welds are necessary. The zip welder was created to overcome the obvious problems of the much older designs. Zip welders are currently in use joining material as light as .006 inches thick up to .750 inches thick and for coils up to 60 inches wide. ME zip welders are used in applications such as radiator lines, tube and pipe mills, roll form lines, stamping press lines, slitting lines, rolling mills, and various other situations where high quality welds are required. Materials that are commonly joined using the zip welder include cold rolled steel, stainless steel, aluminum, hot rolled steel, copper, brass, silicon steel, titanium, coated steels such as turn, galvanized, aluminumized, and various other weldable materials. There are several hundred zip welders in use throughout the world. After the tail end comes off the uncoiler, it is pulled up to the zip welder and stopped in the shear area. Stopping of the strip can either be done manually or automatically. Once the tail end is in position, the operator closes the exit side guide. As an option, the side guide can be automated with the addition of hydraulic motors, which are mounted at the back of the machine out of the way of the operator. After the tail end is aligned, the exit clamp is closed on the tail end strip. The strip is clamped close to the cut edge of the shear blade. After the new coil is placed on the uncoiler or rotated into position, it is fed up to the zip welder and also stopped in the shear area. Again, this can be done manually or automatically. Once the lead end is in position, the operator will close the entry side guide. Should the two coil ends be misaligned due to camber, the entry side guide is designed with a camber compensation feature. The feature allows you to cross slide the entry end strip, realigning it with the tail strip. After the lead end is aligned, the entry clamp is closed on the strip. The lead end is also clamped close to the cut edge of the shear blade. The hydraulically operated L-type shear will then lower, cutting both coil ends at the same time. This reduces the overall cycle time of the machine since the shear needs to cycle only one time. The design of the shear ensures that there is a uniform cut across the entire strip width. Notice that the design also puts the distortion of the shearing operation in both scrap pieces. These scrap pieces are then automatically discharged through the center of the zip welder. There is no need for the operator to handle scrap coil ends. This is one of the many unique features of the zip welder. Also, notice that both coil ends are clamped very close to the sheared area. After the shear returns to the clearance position and the side guides are opened, the entry and exit weld clamps remain clamped and index the material to the weld position. The amount of index is controlled by mechanical stops. The stops are adjustable to allow for the proper gap or tight fit for welding. Now that we have successfully aligned, clamped, sheared and fit up the strip ends, the lower backup bar raises into position. At this point the torch is brought to the front edge of the material. Once in position, the arc starts and the torch traverses across the strip at weld speed. Since the torch drive is by a DC motor, the speed of the traverse is adjustable depending upon the strip thickness and the penetration required. At this point the machine is reset. This opens all clamps and returns the machine to its original starting position. The process line is now ready for operation. These exclusive features are designed into every ME zip welder. Consistent high quality welds. Since both coil ends are clamped flat prior to shearing and held throughout the shearing, indexing and welding operations, the joint fit up is always repeated. Since the fit up is automatic, there is no margin for operator error. Hydraulic double cut shear. This allows both coils to be cut off at the same time, thereby reducing the overall cycle time. This design also puts distortion into the scrap pieces. Automatic scrap discharge. With the ME zip welder, the scrap automatically falls through the center of the machine and into a scrap bin. The operator does not need to manually remove the scrap coil ends. For those applications where delivery is important, Guild now keeps four different frame sizes in stock. The first two are the ME17514 zip welder, which is designed to handle strip up to 0.175 inches thick and up to 14 inches wide. 
and the ME15020 zip welder, which is designed to handle strip up to .150 inches thick and up to 20 inches wide. These rugged, smaller frame machines utilize a 3.5 inch by 3.5 inch tubular steel frame, a 1.5 inch thick top table plate, a 4 inch vertical clamp opening, a 4 inch bore shear cylinder, a 3 inch lower shear blade opening. The other two are our larger, heavier gauge machines. The first is our ME25016 zip welder, which is designed to handle strip up to .250 inches thick and up to 16 inches wide. The other is our ME37524 zip welder, which is designed to handle strip up to .375 inches thick and up to 24 inches wide. These rugged machines utilize a 5 inch by 5 inch tubular steel frame, a 2 inch thick top table plate, a 5 inch vertical clamp opening, a 6 inch or 8 inch bore shear cylinder, a 5 inch lower shear blade opening. If you require the highest quality in strip and joining and quick on time deliveries, then the Guild ME Zip Welder is the right shear welder for you. Guild International also has many other machines available, from portable semi automatic units for small strips to larger fully automatic units for larger strip sizes. You can count on Guild International to deliver.